sometimes it's a good a good idea to treat life like it's a joke like it's a game and you make fun of things that aren't really funny in a way because it's better to be laughing about things than it is to be upset about them doesn't mean you don't take life seriously it's just life is filled with all sorts of things that are a checkerboard of goodness and evil and if you spend your life being concerned with those things then you can wind up just always having a cloud hanging over your head and that's no fun so sometimes i like to just have a little bit of maybe it's a little bit of a dark humor a little bit of humor at the expense of of people and all the things that they take seriously and maybe part of that comes from the fact that i've gone through my own times of disappointment and darkness in my life and as i look back i've realized that nobody really cared at all when i was going through things and i felt like life was a struggle people usually in those times have just kind of ignored me and left me to deal with it in my own way as they probably should and that's okay no one's uh, under any obligation to bear the burden of someone else's emotional stress and i do believe that but i also think that there's a lot of people and they will be whether they know it or not they'll be cruel to other people they will try to get ahead and then they will celebrate when another person fails and they have that sort of a competitive attitude that sense of i want to get ahead at the expense of somebody else i want to be number one and they have that attitude of wanting to be super super competitive they want to be always getting attention for themselves in some way they always want to be in control they always want to be relevant and they have that personality of always trying to prove that they are kind of the alpha if you will that's fine but then when times get rough and something goes wrong then they start to kind of imply that maybe they want some sort of sympathy that they want people to care about them because they don't want to have to face the challenges of life alone that's a double standard you can't say that you want to be free and independent and answer to none and all that kind of stuff but then when you don't want to face challenges alone you also would like those same people that you would put under your feet to kind of rise up and be your safety net that doesn't really work you know we see this in relationships all the time where you know one party will say okay well you know i want the security of maybe a spouse or something somebody who will take care of me and you know give give me that that level of security but then i also don't want to abide by any rules laid out by somebody else other than me i want to be able to make the rules and do whatever i want but i also want the security of knowing that somebody else is going to be there to make sure the bills are paid and stuff well that's that's kind of ridiculous really you can't you know it's one or the other you either are going to have to live a life where you don't get the benefit of other people's sympathy or you're going to have to live a life where you don't make everything all about yourself and so when I see people going through bad times, I, I do think about how little people have generally cared about me when I've gone through bad times. And I've thought about the fact that going through bad times and facing those challenges alone has actually not been a terrible experience for me. And and then I just, I kind of think, well, I guess fair is fair, you know? Don't, don't expect that I'm going to be losing sleep over somebody else's misfortune because i know they wouldn't lose sleep over mine so we're just we're just on the level that's all it really is and there's a lot of people who can you know they'll say that they have principles they'll say that they are moral people or they'll say that they're true to some particular political ideology or their faith or something 
But the reality is most of the time people will just do whatever will, from their perspective, get them ahead. So, you know, there's a lot of people who will say, well, tie the church and give, give some money to, to people and because that's, that's what the faith tells them to do. But then you go out into the parking lot and you see, well, they're, you know, they're still driving their big pickup trucks, right? Like they're not going to sacrifice to the point where they have to actually give up part of their quality of life. They will do something so that other people will see what they're doing and praise them for it or respect them more for it or something like that. But the truth is, as soon as it gets inconvenient, most people will renounce their beliefs and and uh, kind of like like Peter in the Bible, Jesus said, "Well, you're going to betray me three times before the cock crows." And he said, "No, nah, I would never do that." But then all it took is somebody looking at him when Jesus was in trouble, and they said, "Oh, well, hey, you were with that dude, right?" And then Peter was like, "No, nah, I, I never knew him." And and people don't even realize how they'll do it, but they will. So once you know that that's kind of how people are. Well, then you got to realize at the end of the day, you're on your own team. And it might seem like people are there for you. It might seem like you're in league with folks. And in a way, we all are. We, we have people in our lives who we trust to some degree. But everybody has their limits. And there's a limit where you, you can't trust somebody. And so even even people who I like very much, I also know that under certain circumstances, they would betray me. So I never put them in a position where they're going to betray me. It's kind of like bears. I like bears. I think bears are cute. They're nice. But I'm not going to go hang around with bears because bears are dangerous creatures, and I know that. So I'm going to protect myself by not putting myself in a position where it's in the interest of the bear to harm me same thing with people you can respect them you can love them but you don't want to put them in a position where they're going to find that their best advantage is to do something that's counterintuitive to your interests and so you don't want to trust them too much but then at the same time as 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 you go through life and you see other people having to face their challenges you got to say you know what you, you get yourself into situations and you got to deal with the consequences because no matter how much somebody says that they're going to be there for me the truth is i got to face the consequences of my actions at the end of the day and nobody else is going to stand up and pay the price for those things so we do want to try to invest in other people. We do want to try to be mindful of the fact that we are not an island. None of us are an island unto ourselves. But it's also important to realize that you've got you've to gotta put yourself first. And part of that is to protect your physical interests. And the other part is emotional, to understand that every time somebody else is having a bad day, that doesn't mean that you need to lose sleep over it yourself. To the contrary, sometimes it's a, it's a good idea. If other people are having a rough time, sure, you can empathize with them. But you can also realize that it's not that big of a deal. The big scheme of things, we're going to live, we're going to die. And uh, what happens on any given day at work is probably not going to be important enough to, to go into the history books. So might as well just have a good day, have a little bit of fun, maybe make a little bit of fun of some of the things that people think are heavy, serious stuff, because you know what? At the end of the day, it's all not really so very serious um, because we are small creatures in a vast world and the universe, even if it doesn't seem clear to us, is unfolding exactly as it's as it should. So be gentle with yourself and strive to be happy. Till next time.